Today we are doing a straight hitting test between the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Max against the Ping G430 Max 10K. Okay, so a lot of the um, technology this, this year has been around forgiveness, been around straight hitting. Uh, we feel like a lot of these drivers are kind of getting to the limit in terms of distance. Now they're moving towards the forgiveness element and the kind of uh, the dispersion, trying to get it nice and tight. Okay, so I would say my best seller so far this year has been the, the ping. Um, the, the ping at my club in particular, you know, it, it is driven a lot and, and kind of uh, a lot of loyal ping customers that you do find in ping. Uh, the Callaway um, on initial testing is fantastic as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to compare the two um, and see which one is straightest, which technology is working the best. Okay. If we're looking at a direct head to head, well, you know, these heads couldn't be much different, to be honest. Um, if, if we look at the Callaway, you know, visually, they're both very different. They've got the sort of carbon look with that sort of gray trimming on the top. Um, it does have the adjustability on the back as well uh, with the Callaway uh, and the ping. We've got the fixed head at the back. Um, big, big head profile uh, using carbon as well. Very much sort of stretched out. So quite different in terms of looks. I probably prefer the Callaway looks wise, to be honest. Um, but, you know, I think a lot of you guys will be interested mainly in the performance, which one is doing the job, which one is, is working from a, a tech point of view. Okay, so we're gonna hit five shots with each club, starting with the Callaway. And, you know, the, the big talking point with the Callaway really is this AI smart face. Okay, so they're, they're saying they've tested thousands of real, real golfers. Uh, and, and they've developed this AI smart face uh, to pinpoint several uh, sweet spots within the face that's going to help you with your off center hits. Okay, so you should have a lot of confidence that on a good day or, or more importantly on a bad day, it's still going to work for you. Okay, so uh, we've got 10 and a half stiff in, in both, uh, both clubs. Um, the big difference from a, an, a weight point of view is, as I say, the Callaway does have the adjustable weight, so it does allow you to sort of tailor your, your shot shape a bit better with this with this weight. Okay, we've got it set on neutral for today. Let's hit let's hit five shots with each club. Um, you know, I do I really like the look of this Callaway when it's sat behind the ball there. It's nice and square. Um, I like that that sort of carbon finish to it. But today, as I said, all about straightness. Let's see uh, see which one's straighter. Felt good, yeah. Felt marginally off the toe, but that, that was good. You know, the, you know, they the, they are saying that you you get in some extra yardage off the toe, which we have seen historically with drivers that, that generally get some decent ball speeds uh, with uh, with the toe strikes. I felt nice. Yeah, good hit that one. Very good. I say initial testing has been really good with the Callaway, um, but you know certainly in my club probably not as popular as, as say Ping and Taylor Made, um, but you know it, it, they, they obviously produce fantastic equipment, um, and this on the first instance feels really nice. Nice, yeah, really good, good hit really long you know for me once we're getting into the 290s we're, we're starting to get somewhere really and and the big thing is straight you know that's that's really good yeah leaked it a bit right but you know not too bad Slightly right, it's probably gonna be right rough there. Good hit again, you know. Although today's not about the distance, we still want that distance maintained. We don't really wanna to sacrifice too much. Uh, let's just hit one more. Pretty good again. Okay, so on the face of it, before I look at the numbers at the end, 
that felt that felt fantastic you know it really did it felt solid um felt stable this ai smart face seems to be uh, the, doing the doing the job okay so now into the ping g430 max 10k <coughs> ping are saying this is their largest head profile they've ever made and they are saying it's the straightest and most forgiving driver they've ever made okay so um you know big big statements um but as i said at my golf club um here at bolton this has been you know by far my best seller you know uh ping they do create a lot of loyalty within their brand um you, you always feel like if you buy a drink a ping driver the next one's going to be similar but probably a bit better uh, but you, you kind of never feel like they're going in a different direction okay so you know yes they've added the carbon into this one um all about forgiveness uh, and and you know let's let's hit a few shots let's let's see if it is the straightest driver ever because that callaway one was certainly uh certainly right up there you know for me there just in that playing position it, it feels feels big you know um and that could be good or bad some people might think that that is a bit uncomfortably big but you you know when it comes to forgiveness and straightness you might think well i can't miss that you know that's that's going to be very forgiving even on a bad day so you know take from that what you want really but you know it, it looks you know looks looks pretty good okay let's hit five shots felt good yeah i mean that that was interesting because i actually felt like i really pulled that but it's actually not gone that far left so you know that's that's really encouraging you know it's um it sort of just held its line and, and didn't really want to turn over so good start really oh yeah nice and straight really good on the face of it doesn't actually feel quite as long as the callaway um, but it does feel as straight. I have used ping drivers in the past and they've always been, been really good. Um, although I did have the LST and I didn't really get on with that in the G425. But these, these, these Max heads, they, they have been so popular. They do feel so, so stable, so forgiving. Yeah, straight again. Definitely feels higher spinning. You know, you can see there that spin at three, pretty much 3,300 there, spinning quite high, but you know, we would expect that because they've got this fixed weight that's way back in the head. So that's, that's obviously increasing the MOI, but it seems to be increasing the spin as well, um, which does give you that forgiveness, but we might sacrifice a little bit of distance. Again, it's all about your game and, and what you feel like is going to benefit your game more. You know, if you're missing fairways, then definitely worth a look at. Felt good again. Yeah, distance up a bit again there. So that was better distance wise, but again, reasonably straight. Slightly right, but you know, it's probably still right side of the fairway. Let's just try one more. You know, both actually have quite a different feel to them, to be honest. You do hear get this ping sound, if you like. Okay, let's just try one more. Yeah, nice and straight again there. Really good. Okay, so two good drivers there. Um, my feeling initially the ping feels really stable. It feels like I can hit it really straight. Uh, but the Callaway is definitely longer. Um, I think that's going to be backed up here when we look at the numbers. Um, so I think, as always, you know, in in all of these sort of head-to-head -head challenges we do, it's always about thinking about your game. What what are you looking for? Do you want a bit more length? Do you need a bit more forgiveness? Do you want it straight? Um, but today is a straight hitting test, so let's let's have a look at it. So let's kick off with the dispersion we've got the uh the white ring in the callaway and the orange ring 
uh, in the pink. Um, orange is probably marginally closer. Um, you know, there's with both clubs there, there's a big miss right, but the, the, obviously the ping's not as far right. Um, in truth, it's pretty close, but the ping's probably edging it from that point of view. And then if we just look at the table, all important numbers, just working across from left to right there, we've got the ping at the top, Callaway at the bottom. Same club speed and same ball speed, you know, 105 and 155. Um, Smash is marginally better with ping at 1.48 compared to 1.47. <coughs> Launch a little bit higher with the with the ping, um, and the spin's higher. And I did feel that you know 2,900 to 2,500 because of that back weight. You know, it's, it's obviously launching it up and spinning it up a touch, giving it more height at 115 feet compared to 102. So again, any of you out there that maybe looking for more height, this could be a good option. Um, and then. Distances 264 for 283, 266 for 289. So getting more yardage from the Callaway, and again, I did feel that. Uh, and then, really, the all important number for today is the side total plus or minus 41 feet, plus or minus 54 feet. So the ping is definitely edging it from a you know kind of a straightness point of view. So, in summary, guys, you know, when it comes to straight hitting. Ping, uh, they're definitely backing up what they're saying. Their straightest and most forgiving driver ever. Uh, check that out. But Callaway, you know, definitely uh, producing the goods as well. If this is your first time watching the channel, guys, uh, please don't hesitate to subscribe. I post three weekly videos on either club reviews or coaching tips. Um, as always, post some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.